Believe you can, and you can. Now, you might not be familiar with this one, and I know the title sounds less like a Disney Park special and more like some piece of inspirational television. Welcome to, and as it is such, so also as such, is it unto you. Well, strap in, folks. This one is weird. This special was made to promote the 1983 new Fantasyland renovation, but they didn't wait until the renovation was finished to film the special. Oh, so it's going to be a lot of construction footage and interviews? No, not quite. This is something else. This special stars the late Heather O'Rourke, fresh off Poltergeist, which I guess makes this the dark flip side to the 1982 special that featured the girl from E.T. Heather's sad because her dad got a job that's going to move them away from Anaheim, so her brother takes her to Disneyland one last time, so he can say goodbye to his girlfriend and she can say goodbye to her imaginary friends. But she's terrified to find Fantasyland closed for renovation. Whatever shall she do? She's gonna need some help from a magical man. Maybe a Disney legend? Someone whose mere presence spreads all sorts of joy everywhere he goes, like Dick Van Dyke? Well, we can't afford him for this one, but will you settle for his co-star? You say you want a little music? You're gonna get as little as possible. <laughs> Here we go. Ta-da! Peanuts, popcorn, chewing gum, candy, a prize in every package. Stolen refrigerators, get them while they're hot. That's right. Maury Amsterdam plays a magical old creep named Jay Fontenroy Chippenrobe, who tells Heather all about what's coming to New Fantasyland. Welcome to my Sanctum Sanctorum. Boy, they started Avengers Campus construction early. Maury keeps promising wonderful new experiences, but Heather keeps protesting that they're moving tomorrow, so she won't get to see any of this new stuff. Maury tells her she just needs to believe. Well, Heather, you just can't give up the idea of wishing for something that you really want. But it won't make any difference, Jiffy. We've got to move because of my daddy's new job. Well, you're scared because you don't believe in yourself, and you don't believe in wishing either. But moving, that's different. That's a really big problem, and wishing isn't going to change that. We're just going to have to move, and wishing isn't going to make any difference. Well, no wishing will come true if you don't believe in yourself first. But I won't be here. I'll be in Minneapolis. Ah, uh, Chippy, I don't believe that. Come on now, Heather, believe. Remember the first law of fantasy land. Believe you can, and you can. Eventually, all the characters are partying together, whether they be heroes, villains, or country bears. But when they spy a non-believing Heather, they don't merely shun the non-believer. They put her on trial until she can prove she believes. This kind of lost the thread on being a Fantasyland promotion. But I do believe. Sometimes. So, sometimes she doesn't believe. Come on down to Disneyland, where the characters will be mad at you for not believing in them. Also, belief is apparently a virtue that the villains really believe in. She's the little Heather who doesn't believe in wishes coming true in Fantasyland. Feed her to the crocodile. I believe. Off with her head. Give her to me. I will turn her into a Donkey, she can pull my wagon. <laughs> but despite the villain's best efforts, and despite Maury constantly switching sides, and let that be fair warning to all the non-believing Heathers of the world, wherever they may be, I am going to defend this woman. I'm only seven. Yes, she's only seven, and you know why? Because she hasn't yet reached eight. Heather is found not guilty of disbelief, and her problems are solved with an off-screen deus ex machina. I suppose I should have waited till you came home to tell you, but I just couldn't wait. I had to find you. What is it, Mom? Well, you know your father's new job? Well, he won't be taking it after all. <laughs> when the company heard that he was going to make the move, they gave him a wonderful promotion and raise. And we're not moving, kid. It would have been really great if they told us this earlier than the day before we were going to move. Now we gotta unpack everything, take the house off the market, and back out of our new renter's agreement in Minnesota, but at least you get to prove the magical old creep right by riding Pinocchio someday. This deserves to be on Disney Plus, because I know somebody out there saw this when they were young and assumed they had imagined the whole thing. They deserve to be reassured that this insanity really did happen. 
that Disney in 1983 really thought the best way to promote the revamped Fantasyland was to have a 75 year old vaudeville vet dance around before dedicating a bunch of screen time to shaming a child for not having blind faith in wishes. This deserves to be seen by all. By the way, Heather O'Rourke's sister also had a cameo in the Purple Believer shirt sitting next to Stromboli. Right here. Don't believe me? Check IMDb. This is her actual credit. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. She's apparently sitting next to Stromboli. So this also deserves to be on Disney Plus to motivate IMDb to get their crap together for this special.